What researchers were setting out to do in this particular study is to see if they could take a couple of high glycemic index foods, in this case, white rice and instant potatoes, foods that tend to be favored in a lot of individuals' diets, and see if they could introduce lentils. And by introducing lentils can help reduce part of that blood glucose spike that usually occurs postprandial or after the meal with the lentils being introduced as part of the serving in regard to white rice or instant potatoes. And they succeeded and in quite an interesting way as well too. But let's get right into the research. Lentils significantly reduce blood glucose levels. Replacing half a serving of rice with lentils caused blood glucose to drop by up to 20%. Replacing potatoes with lentils, again instant in this case, led to a 35% drop. Published and specially featured in the journal Nutrition, the study involved 24 healthy adults fed four dishes white rice or any combination of three different types of lentils, which we'll go into in a few seconds, but the results were similar regardless of the type of lentils utilized here, and they repeated the process for the potatoes. Researchers measured glucose levels in participants' blood before they ate and during two hours afterwards, postprandial. They repeated the process for white potatoes alone in the same combination of potatoes and lentils. Blood glucose, in this case 20% for the rice, 35% for the potatoes, fell by similar amounts when half of the starch was replaced with each of the three different types of lentils. In this case as well, large green, small green, and split red. But how? And to quote the researchers, this is how they speculate, or actually the way it actually occurred. Pulses, such as lentils, can slow digestion and the release of sugars found in starch into the bloodstream, ultimately reducing blood glucose levels. This slower absorption means you don't experience a spike in glucose, Having higher levels over a period of time can lead to mismanagement of blood glucose, which is the hallmark of type 2 diabetes. Essentially, eating lentils can lower that risk. Again, quoting the researchers. And this is how, which I find quite intriguing. Pulses contain components that inhibit enzymes involved in the absorption of glucose. Normally, we just think, well, it's the fiber part, slowing the digestion down and slowing the absorption. But this adds an extra dimension to the power of pulses and fiber contained in these foods can encourage production of short-chain fatty acids, which can also help reduce blood glucose levels according to these foods. So once again, in white rice, look up to 20% drop postprandial in regard to blood glucose levels, you know, up to two hours after the meal, and 35% in the potato group. Hope you find this information in use. Abstract will be here. DOI citation or DOI information will be there as well, so you can follow the information and review on your own. Again, we're off to your channel signing off. Hope you find this information of use. And as always, look forward to seeing you all next week. Catch you then. Bye.